In today's video, I'm going to be discussing sleep patterns and circadian rhythm as it pertains to the blind. Let's go discuss it. Hey everyone, this is Matt. Welcome back to another Blind to Billionaire video. And if you're new here, I would love it if you consider subscribing. So like I said in the intro, today's video is going to be about sleep patterns and circadian rhythm as it pertains to blind or visually impaired people. Now I wanna preface this video by saying I am definitely not an expert on circadian rhythm or sleep patterns, but rather this is a video of me sharing with you some of my struggles when it comes to sleeping and maybe reaching out to you asking if this is something that many of you in this community also have problems with and if you experience this or is it just an isolated incident with me alone. So let me explain my situation and maybe we can go from there. But I would say for the last uh, maybe like three-ish years or so, I have had an incredibly difficult time sleeping at night. It's really interesting because when it becomes nighttime, for me, um, as a person with light perception, I, it's like my day and I am just getting turned on and like I'm just getting my energy for the day around like 10 p.m. at night. It's really interesting because 10 p.m. Rolls, ar rolls around and it's basically bedtime coming up real soon and I'm like wide awake. And I lately, I've actually been dreading going to bed at that time because I am literally not tired at all. But yet what's interesting is I'll go to bed, I might fall asleep and have quality sleep for maybe an hour, and then I wake up, who knows when, anywhere between midnight and about 2 a.m. and I'm wide awake, and then that's it. But I have to say, like, I might have quality sleep for a little while, maybe like 10 o'clock p.m., 10.30 p.m. until midnight-ish, and then I would say the quality of my sleep is very poor until I wake up and I'm literally wide awake anywhere between 1.30 a.m. and 2.30 a.m. That's been somewhat of the pattern lately. And then from there, I'm literally wide awake. Um, actually, last night I was up at 2.30. I got up and I was just like, okay, I'm, I'm wide awake. I have no reason to sleep anymore. And <clears throat> it's something that's been happening, like I said, quite a bit lately. But Overall, over the last, like I said earlier, probably three-ish years, my sleep pattern has been very, very disrupted. Um, but also what's interesting about that is in the last three-ish years, I would say my vision has also declined quite a bit more. So I've been wondering, is this more just an isolated incident where me, maybe my just pattern and my circadian rhythm is a little bit messed up? Or is this something that many of you in this community also experience as people who are blind or visually impaired? Um, I don't know, I just find that this is really interesting. Also, when I am up in the morning, like when I wake up in the morning or when I, when I get up in the morning, I would say around like 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. time frame, I am extremely tired. That is by far my most drowsy part of the day. Um, of course, if I'm busy doing something, um, I can work through that. It's not as big of a deal. But if I don't have a whole lot going on that day or if um, my workload is a little bit less, that is a really, really tough time of day for me. I, I feel like I, I suffer from like extreme narcolepsy during that time. Not necessarily that I'm falling asleep, but I am. if I'm not keeping busy, I literally could just fall asleep at any given time. So like I said, I wanted to throw this out there and see if it is something that is maybe just isolated to me or if many of you in this community are also experiencing this. So I'd love to hear your maybe experiences, of course, if you're comfortable sharing this. Now, many years ago, not many years ago, I would say maybe five to six years ago, I did go through a period where I started taking melatonin at night because I was trying to regulate my sleep pattern and get on more of a just regular schedule, being able to sleep, I don't know, six, seven, eight hours a night, because that is so rare for me, but yet I didn't like how melatonin was making me feel, so I suspended um, taking melatonin after just a short time. Um, but I don't know, it's just, it's so weird. Also, another thing too, here in the United States, 
I'm not sure if these commercials play in other states, but here in the US, there's a few commercials that play on TV talking about, they call it non-24, essentially people like us who are blind or visually impaired um, to the point where maybe we'd have like limited light perception like I do. Our bodies can't determine whether it's day or night because simply we're just not taking in the light as we should be into our into our eyes and our brain assessing the situation. So our body, like let's say if we're totally blind, if we can't see light at all, then our body doesn't know if it's daytime, nighttime, whatever. And a natural process that happens in like a sighted person is during the day, their body, I mean, they're not producing any melatonin, but when it gets dark out and our eyes recognize and relay to the brain, like, hey, it's dark out now, our bodies naturally produce melatonin and that's what makes us tired. And then we go to bed and we sleep and we, and we sleep normal. I mean, that's, that's the natural process for someone who's fully sighted. But now as us with limited vision, whether we're totally blind or light perception, whatever the case is, our bodies and our brains don't know the difference between daytime, nighttime. So maybe it's just like a constant production of melatonin. I'm not sure the exact reasoning behind it, but it certainly is a very interesting situation. Now, my sleep schedule is something, like I said, I've been struggling with for many, many years. And it's really frustrating because I'm tired during the day and I could sleep at any moment during the day. For the most part, I could take a nap and sleep very well. I've done it and it's awesome. Sleep. <laughs> um, <laughs> the quality of sleep during a nap is like incredible. It's like I fall into a coma and then wake up again, I don't know, however long later. But then at night, when it's dark out, when I should be sleeping, then my body is like, nope, time to be wide awake. Maybe this is isolated because maybe I'm just a vampire. I don't know. But I'd love to hear from you. Is this something that you also struggle with if you're someone who's blind or visually impaired? And of course, only share whatever you're comfortable with. Of course, this is a personal situation for everybody and not everybody's always comfortable sharing with us, you know, what goes on. But I don't know. I wanted to throw this out there and just let you know, like, hey, this is a real thing. People who are blind or visually impaired truly do suffer from um, a skewed sleep schedule. I know I've talked to a couple people here on this channel who have mentioned it, but um, I kind of want to throw it out there to everybody and just hear your opinions on this topic. But anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just uh, really interesting. So I'd love to hear from you. Let me know, you know, whatever you're interested in sharing. Otherwise, if you have any comments or questions regarding anything that I've talked about here, please feel free to stick it down below. Hopefully we can do some more live streams sometime soon because we love connecting with all of you in a live setting. We just love doing that so much. It is a lot of fun. Um, but anyway, I have actually forgot the last few videos um, about the, the shout outs in all of my videos. So I'm gonna get back into that just simply because the last few videos, I've forgotten about it. But anyway, today's video is going, or the shout out for today's video is going to the nerdy lady. <laughs> Uh, that's not what I'm calling her. That's what she identifies as. So the nerdy lady, uh, thanks so much for always being here. You're an awesome friend and I just really appreciate your support. So anyway, have a great week, everybody. We'll catch you on Thursday. Maybe we'll throw in some bonus live streams. I don't know, but hopefully we can because we just love it. So have a great day. We'll see you soon. You can't wait to see me now. Cause lately you've been feeling down.